Let's work with spreadsheets and we're going to work in Microsoft Excel and we're going to deal with some random numbers. Now there are two main random functions in Excel. So the first is the rand function and it generates a random number between 0 and 1. So it's a very small decimal number basically. So it'll be 0 point something. And then there's a rand between function which where we can be quite specific about what the range of numbers we want to create a random number from. So let's just do some couple of examples. So let's just use the rand function. So if I come over here and I type in equals rand and all you have to do is open bracket, close bracket. That's that's the rand function. Boom. And there we have a random number. Now, every time I type somewhere else and press enter or do something, you'll see that random number keeps on changing. So that number is always going to change. So I'm going to um, just drag this down and you can see a whole bunch of random numbers and they're going to change every time I do something different. You'll see there's a new bunch of random numbers there. So if you want a nice random number with quite a few decimal places, rand's your function. But if you want a specific random number, let's say we want to get a number between 1 and 100, then we can use the rand between. So yeah, we can say equals rand between. So there's the between option. Now you'll notice when I press brackets here, you'll see there are two parameters. It needs a bottom value and a top value. So it needs from that number to that number. So if I say from 1, 100, it will hopefully generate random numbers between 1 and 100. So there we go, 17 is obviously between 1 and 100. I can drag that down and it'll just generate random numbers. And it works, it does the same thing as the rand. If I just type stuff here, it'll just generate new random numbers. What happens if I make them really small? It's 1 to 3. So we only want 1, 2s or 3s. Then I can drag that down and you'll see it only gives me 1, 2s or 3s. So there we go. That's how the rand between function works. Now, if you ever want to store these numbers, it's very difficult because they're always changing. So what you can do, uh, what I like to do sometimes, if I'm copying these numbers, you can copy them. So you can right click copy. And what I'm going to do is I will then paste them, but paste them as values. And that way you override obviously the RAND function, but now they are, st they, they're not going to change now. So now they're not using the function anymore. And now if I press something, these ones will change because they still are a random function, but these ones aren't. And I can do the same for this. So let's do a couple of examples quickly. If you want a six sided dice, we know that a six sided dice has from one to six. Well, we want to say equals RAND between and one comma six. Hey, let's do that. That's a three. And if I type something here, no one types something else there. See, it's changing. Four. Yeah, it's fantastic. Uh, what about a two-sided dice? Well, the lowest number you can get if you roll two dice is not one, it's two, because if they're both ones, then it's two. So and if you get both sixes, then it's twelve. So equals ran between. So two-sided or two six-sided dice. Your bottom value, your lowest value for two six sided dice will be a two, and your your max will be six times two, which is twelve. And there we go. And if I just type here, it'll just complete completely make random numbers all the time. It's fantastic. What happens if we want a random grade from eight to twelve for high school? So we can say we want to pick a random grade for a prize, for example. Then we can say ran between, and we can say from eight to twelve. And there we go. What happens if I said 12 to 8? What would it do? 12 comma 8. It would not be able to give you a random number because there's no number between 12 and 8 in that order. It's got to be the lower number first and then the higher number. So make sure you do that. Now in South Africa we have the lottery and we have a number between 1 and 49 for the lottery. So let's guess one of the random numbers in the lottery. We're going to go 1 comma 49. So there's one of the potential numbers. No, no, wait. In a lottery, there are six numbers that you need for the lottery. So if I drag this down a couple of times, one, two, three, four, five, six, there are no duplicates there because we're not too sure about duplicates. But I'm just got a funny feeling. If we we should maybe buy a lottery ticket this week, I think we should take those numbers. If you are going to buy a lottery tickets this week, and you are going to, um, obviously, if you're above 18, you can buy a lottery ticket, or you can get your parents to. But try those numbers out, see if you win anything. And if you do, now this is the important part, if you win a lot of money because the random function helped you, this video helped you, you need to let me know so that I can give you my bank details. So you can give me a portion of the money and that portion could be anywhere between 1 and 100%. Let's, let's Excel decide how much percentage you must give me. 
two percent that's not a lot of money so let's hope you win a lot of money because on two percent a lot of money will hopefully be something so take those numbers oh they changed maybe try these ones so try these random numbers get a lottery ticket that's pretty random isn't it for less random videos on excel go to our youtube channel subscribe follow us on facebook and twitter leave a comment we'd love to hear from you and remember don't do it the long way do it the mr long way